show you one of the coolest places on the internet in my quest to make sure that you can go down nostalgia lane or if you're low on money this week you can go and still have a fantastic time playing some games by going to myabandonware.com this is a very very cool place that I found look at all that love for reddit reddit talked about there was a post about the greatest places that you can visit online or some of the secret sites and this is one that came up that I didn't know about and I just thought it was so awesome so what this is is all 9,000 games that you can play through your browser and or download now I will tell you right up front I had a lot of issues with trying to play through the browser in fact I don't think I've gotten a single game to work through the browser but the downloads work beautifully so what you're gonna need a lot of these games from the 90s they are well this is from 1979 to 2010 but most of these are the older games from the 90s at least for me that I want to go back through in nostalgia lane you will need something called DOSBox because back in the day it would take like 20 discs to load these little 3.5 inch discs we would load to play a game and some of these games would come on single discs as well I remember when Wolfenstein for instance first came out it was just distributed everywhere uh, on a single 3.5 inch disc and everybody was passing out copies of it you want to talk about pirating back then we pirated and it was pretty much accepted uh, as a rule of course Wolfenstein and some of the others they were called shareware and so back then everybody was playing these games and there's a ton of nostalgia that came with them and they're really really solid games there's some fantastic games out here so if you're finding yourself low on money or you want to go down nostalgia lane this is where to go some of these games like Oregon Trail and things that I played in school bring back all kinds of cool memories you know Doom SimCity 2000 back before EA just completely destroyed uh, that franchise by making all kinds of errors and making that one the new one online only and all those things but back in the day you could play it without interruption without having to be online and could just have a ton of fun and so they list out the top downloads here on the site you can search by name year platform genre theme publisher developer uh, absolutely huge amount of games in fact everyone that I could think of including laser squad now laser squad for me was just one of those amazing games that I played with my cousin all summer long all we would do is eat Raymond noodles and play laser squad like from the moment we woke up uh, we would play laser squad against each other and it was just an absolute blast so what I want to show you though here is how you can download these games and run that emulator so the first thing you're gonna do is go to dosbox.com and you're gonna download the emulator here from SourceForge based on the version of the operating system you're using so this works on Linux it works on Mac and based on the game it'll tell you if it has the version for Mac for Linux for DOS etc or for Windows and you can just download this once that's downloaded and installed you can come here and you're gonna find the game that you want so let's look for a game that I'm gonna to wanna to play we talked about SimCity 2000 so let's do that came out in 1993 also available in Amiga and let's go ahead and download this so you can play in your browser here or you can download again every time I do the play in your browser and I've tried Chrome and Mozilla it just doesn't work uh, but we can try here and see what happens uh, just for the sake of science and it'll load the game and it'll go through kind of a DOS emulator online and it may be because reddit's given it that hug of death that none of these games are working right now it may be absolutely overwhelmed uh, so if you try in a few weeks it may work just fine but pretty much this is the experience that I have here it just kind of We'll either sit or go to the DOS screen and nothing happens, which is no big deal because we can emulate this ourselves and just download it. So let's go back here and download. And what I did is just created a folder on my hard drive called uh, I use my D drive D colon DOS box EMU. You could create a folder, name it whatever you want. So you want the DOS version here. So I'm going to go ahead and download that. I've got the manual too, which is pretty cool. It's going to come in a zip file. So we're going to open that, and I'm just going to unzip this file 
in that drive. So let's go extract all and nope. I thought I had it saved, but apparently I do not. So let's go to my D drive here and we're going to go to the box emulator, DOSBox EMU that I have, and I'm going to click select folder. So you're just going to navigate to the folder that you created. You can have it on your C drive. In my case, I have it in my D drive. It doesn't matter where you have it and just extract that. So now you can see that it's moved it over into this folder here. So perfect. So now we have, now we have our Sim City, and it looks like in this case, instead of moving over the folder, it moved over all the files into the main folder, which is fine. So you can see when you're looking that this is your application, this SC2000, it should be your executable file. So we're going to go into DOSBox now. And the thing that you have to do here is mount C drive because it thinks no matter what, it's going to run off of the C drive. It's creating an emulation here. So you're just going to type mount C no matter where you put it. And then you're going to put D colon in my case slash DOS box EMU. That's where the file is. And you can see it says drive C is mounted as local directory. So now I can do uh, just type in the C drive. And again, no matter where you put it, you're still going to type in C drive because we mounted my D drive as a C drive. That's all we did right there. So now I'm going to type DIR and I can see everything in here. So if I don't launch Laser Squad that I downloaded, Wolfenstein Battle. But this, the, what I'm looking for specifically is EXE files. Now, if this came in a folder, I would have to do, for instance, later, Laser Squad was in a folder. Remember, this one extracted into the main file. So if I do CD space laser here, that's change directory to laser. And then I do a DIR again, I'm looking for an EXE file. That's the executable that will allow me to run this game here. And I could do DIR slash W if it's a lot of files so that I can actually see uh, which one is my EXE. And here we go. So lsqdbcc.exe and that's all I would type. But we were looking for the laser squad or for SimCity so you can see that it it put the executable right here so I'm just gonna type in SC2000 and that's it and boom there our game is running so now we have the original SimCity which was so much fun I remember the splash screen it is just nostalgia lane for me seeing this is so cool uh, you can hit alternate enter and it will move that into full screen for you and you can hit alternate enter again to get out of full screen and you've got your file for saving and everything here and your basic intro and this is just amazing I there's so many hours I wasted on this game back in the day um, so we can go in here and we can start building or doing anything we want but this just shows you how awesome this my abandoned wear is it is just an incredible incredible site I absolutely love it I love that you have so many games that you can go back and play that you love for free of course please I recommend if you have some extra money and you start using this a lot give this guy some money he's got a PayPal account set up here so you can do a donation it's definitely worth it to keep this platform up because I think it's so awesome or click on some ads and follow some information there uh, so that he can make some money off of that but You've got an incredible 9,000 games to play through. There's a ton of fun to be had here. So if you're on a budget and you're trying to figure out, you know, what games to play this weekend, check out myabandonware.com. I hope you guys enjoy it. Leave your comments below if there's another site like this that you love or if you've tried this out and some of the games that give you that nostalgia feeling. Until next time, get out there and fill your brains. Don't watch the video.